Greetings to blessing today. What a joy once again we can come and look into God's word. A God of increase. We have been looking at this subject. Actually, the characteristics of God. Because he wants you to experience increase in your life. So shall we look into God's word and study God's word? What does it say? We looked last time in Genesis 1.28. He said, be fruitful and multiply. But we are going to see in Psalm 115, 14. 115, 14. Verse 14 says, the Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. The Lord shall increase you. Other versions will say, the Lord bless you more and more, you and your children. So we are going to look at that passage. We are going to study that passage carefully. The Lord bless you. If the Lord will bless you, some versions will say, may the Lord bless you, but the Lord bless you. It's not may, it's the Lord bless you. It's a guaranteed thing. The Lord shall increase you more and more. The Lord shall, the Lord shall, or the Lord shall bless you more and more. Watch carefully. It's not a man's doing. It is the Lord's doing. So the, we need to get something in our heart that the Lord wants to bless me. Somebody say that after me. The Lord will bless me. The Lord wants to bless me. See, you got to say that. You need to learn how to confess the word of God. So it says very clearly, the Lord bless you. How is he going to bless you? What kind of blessing is he going to bless you? The Lord bless you more and more. Not chore and more, more and more. Okay, I want you to get that. So when the Lord pours his blessing, it is not just going to be a normal blessing. It's going to be a greater blessing. That's why he says more and more. Let me expand that word for you. In the land of Egypt, there is nothing. And the people of Israel came out of Egypt. They came into the wilderness, a place of more. But they were not called to settle there. They were called to go to the promised land, the land of more and more, more than the wilderness. So the same thing God is expecting in your life. You have come out of Egypt and in this journey, you may be in a place of more. But he wants to take you into more and more. If he's taken you out of nothing, if he's taken you out of the miry clay, he's going to take you into something. He's taken you out to take you into something better in your life. So he wants you to experience more and more in your life. I was traveling once and I was asked to preach in a church. When I went to preach in that church, they had put me up in a hotel. And as I went in, I checked in. They gave me a room and that room was smelling of cigarette. It was not smelling that great. So I turned around and said to them, I got ready because I had a meeting to run to. I took a shower, changed, locked my bags and came down to the reception. And I said, would you change my room? They said, sir, this is the only room that is available. Uh, we don't have any other room. It's full. I turned around and said, I'm a platinum member. They said, sir, you may go. We'll take care of it. I came back and I found out my baggage was moved from the room, which was smelling of cigarette to a better room. A higher level 
room. Why? Because I said, I'm a platinum member. You as a child of God, God doesn't want you to live in something that is unwanted. He wants to change the situation of your life. You can make a choice whether to live in the wilderness. See, I could have said, I could have turned around and said, that's fine, you have no room, so I will stay in this room. I may not be able to sleep properly. It may be difficult, but it's okay. But because I knew I had that privilege, I turned around and said, they upgraded my room and moved me to the next level. The same way in your life. God wants to upgrade you. Upgrade the level of your life. What level are you living in? Is it wilderness or is it Egypt? If it is Egypt, it's time to get out of Egypt. If it is wilderness, time to get out of wilderness and get into the promised land. The land of more and more. So God's desire is never for you to live. Let's see again. Let's see again. Egypt, wilderness, promised land. 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. Which one do you want to live in? 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. You can make the choice whether you want to keep on walking this walk or you want to sit down when you are in the wilderness and say, this is good enough for me. I pray there is something in you stirred up today to say, I want to go a bit more further. I want to go a little bit ahead because I am not satisfied where I am. I want to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I want to see the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you. See, that is what needs to happen. When the blessing of the Lord comes upon you, you will move the level that you are in. You will move to the promised land. You are not called to live in wilderness. You are not called to live in Egypt. And it is sad, many people have opened their bags up and they have settled over there and said, this is better than nothing. No, don't settle. Don't settle. Pack your bags again. Because this journey, you're going into the promised land. Into the land of more and more. Because... You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Somebody say more and more. Can you say that again? More and more. Yes. That's what he wants to do for you. So the scripture does not stop over there. It says, The Lord shall increase, shall. Uh, can, I, can I start again over there a little bit? Shall, that means it's his desire, that is his will, that he wants to bring an increase. He wants to bless you. So he's not expecting you once you have to remain in the same place. He's expecting you to move out because you are his son. You are his daughter. The Lord shall increase you. More and more. Watch carefully now. What does it say? You and your children. So the Lord wants to bring an increase. The Lord wants to change your situation. The Lord wants to change everything around you. With his blessing. With his goodness. With his mercy. With his joy. And take you into the promised land. You. Into the promised land. That's why he says. Very clearly. You. It does not stop with you. It says you and your children. Why? 
because the God I serve is a God of generations. Huh. He's a God of generation. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He's a God of generations. I will bless your generations. And that's what God wants to do. He just doesn't want to give you the blessing. He wants to pour it upon your generations. Psalm 23 says, My cup overflows. A cup has a saucer. So when the cup overflows, what happens? It falls into the saucer. Your children are the saucer. He wants to fill you up so much that it'll start to overflow out of you and it'll fall upon your children. That's why he says, you and your children. I want you to believe God that your children even will be blessed by the Lord. Your children will live a life of increase. I want you to see a verse in the book of Genesis chapter 22. We're going to see over there a verse that God is speaking to Abraham. A man who was rich, a man who was blessed, a man who was called, a man who understood what God, he walked in obedience. That's why God says to him, Genesis 22 verse 17, that in the blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thee. Thy seed as the stars of the heaven and the sand upon which the sea shores and thy seed shall possess the gates of thy enemies. Do you see that? Your generation to come will sit at the gates of the enemy. That means I will pour so much of a blessing there were certain things that you were not able to do. But the blessing has been poured upon them so much that they will be able to conquer those things which you were not able to conquer. When you die, listen to me carefully, don't miss this point. When you die, your children don't go back to zero to start. They pick up from where you left. So when God says, you and your children He's saying, I'm going to bless you so much that when you die, your children are going to pick up from there and run. In other words, they are going to go a bit further. They are going to go a bit ahead. So the blessing of the Lord is going to take you into a place of more and more, not only you, but your generation to come. How many of you believe how many of you believe that God wants to do that in your life, in your family, more and more, you and your children? He wants, listen to me, he wants, believe it, he wants to do it. Don't allow the devil to play with your mind. Don't allow the devil to tell you you can't have it. We studied very carefully. It is the characteristics of God to bless. It is the characteristics of God to, for an increase. So if it is a characteristics of God, it is the nature of God. You as a child of God are called to see an increase, to see a growth in your life. So let's believe that. I believe. I believe. See, we can say, I believe this day because he is going to bless you and your generation to come. The generation shall be blessed because of you. Your background has nothing to do with this. Your financial situation has nothing to do with this. See, because God is not concerned about the economy of this world. God can do supernatural work in you. He can. He can. So let's, I'm going to tell you something. I want you to take your phone. I want you to take that verse and put it on your screen. Put it on your screen 
and read it many times. Let it get into you. The Lord wants to. The Lord wants to bless me. The Lord wants to bless me. Read, meditate on it. Meditate on it. The Lord wants to bless me. More and more. More, at least 10 times a day. Meditate on that scripture. So that it will be fruitful in your life. You will see the fulfillment. Is it a promise of God? Man promised us a lot of things. Government will promise a lot of things. Friends will promise a lot of things. But God's promise is different from every other promise of a man. His promises never, ever fail. My dad, God blessed him. And I prayed to the Lord. God, take me from more to more and more. Take me because you are a God of generations. What my father has done. Lord, do more for me, Lord. And you know what? God changed my situation. God started to open up the doors for me and help me to travel more. Do more and more for him. The nations which looked impossible. The nations that looked difficult. The nations that were dangerous. God took me over them. Because I believed that God wants to do more and more for my life. I have been, I had the privilege of traveling. More than my own father. It is by the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because he said, I'll do it for you and your children. So your children, listen to me, your children. But pastor, my children are not walking with God. What does the Bible say? Children are a blessing from the Lord. So if the Lord wants to bless you, your children got to be blessed too. If the children are born out of you, they're called to be a blessing too. So I want you to start professing that. I want you to start confessing that. Like you're going to confess this verse that is in Psalm 115. The Lord shall bless me more and more, me and my children. I want you to start speaking over your children, over the situation that does not look right in your life. Listen to me. That does not look, that does not sound. Change by speaking. What does it say in the gospel of Mark chapter 11? Speak to the mountain. Speak to the mountain to be removed. So take the promise of God and speak that promise. Martin Luther said like this, fill God's ears with his own promises so that he will have to do it for you. Wow, powerful. Listen to me. Fill God's ears with his own promises so that he will have to do for you. So if you want to see the filling of God's ear with his promises, you need to know God's word so that you can fill it. Many people try to fill his ears with fear, with doubt. It doesn't affect God, by the way. It doesn't affect him. And that's what we keep on doing. But instead of speaking negative words, wrong words, Take his word and start to speak and increase. Ruth, her life changed. Look at everyone in the Bible. David, a shepherd boy, his life changed. He went from more to more and more. Became the king, a shepherd boy, not even old enough to shave. He stood in front of Goliath and he confessed the word of God. He spoke. Who is this uncircumcised? He knew his covenant. He knew he was part of the family. He knew God had called him to be blessed. And he spoke. The Goliath, the giant came down. Soon his life was turning around and he was becoming the king of Israel. So this day, you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. I said to the Lord, Lord, 
you are a god of blessing you want me to be blessed you want my generation to be blessed so bless my generation more and more more and more my daughter we went through a very difficult phase in our life in 2014 i turned around and said to my daughter we have a god who's more than enough who does more than and more in our life people may not be there but he is there he will never leave and he will keep his promise and we started to speak the promises of god we said lord you will do more and more lord you will do more and more for me and my generation we looked at a school that was a beautiful school expensive to study but we spoke we spoke god opened up the doors for my daughter to study in that school without paying a single penny without paying a single pesa without paying a single rupee without listen to me how did it happen i believe i took god's word that he wants to bless me i want you to take his word and say i believe you want to bless me she's studying in oxford right now it is by the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ it happened if he could do for this boy if he could do for this preacher he can surely do for you he can surely do for you do you expect more and more are you are you expecting the same thing in your life i'm getting a little bit i'm happy i'm satisfied don't be satisfied where you are deep searches for the deep go for the deeper thing go for the greater things we talk about greater glory we talk about greater faith we talk about everything great but when it comes to the things even natural let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven heaven is broke now that is why what was spoken in heaven we heard we and we have it in scriptures in our hand that he wants to bless you more and more you and your children so this day hold on to the word of god start to profess start to confess that he's going to do more and more in your life and you know what people may not like it i found out one thing when god starts to bless you when god starts to bring an increase in your life everybody will not be happy that's true see if you are broke people will talk about you if you are blessed people will talk about you which one which category do you want to be i want my life to be under the hands of the lord and if my life is under the hands of the lord will it be blessed or will it be cursed ask yourself ask yourself if it will be blessed if it's called to be a life of increase because that's his character what do you believe in your life do you believe for an increase we need to god wants to change everybody who are his children their life so i'm going to believe along with you that god is going to do great and mighty things i'm going to believe along with you that he's going to do supernatural things in your life if he could make that promise to abraham the blessing of abraham belongs to us let's see how was he blessed in genesis chapter 13 look verse 1 and abraham went up out he went up. he didn't go down he went up he went he was going to enter more and more look what it says he went up out of egypt he was in egypt a place of nothing and he was getting out he and his wife and all he had lot with him into the south and abraham was very rich somebody say that he was what very rich he was not broke because god had already blessed him 
God had shown his blessing upon him. He said, I have blessed you, but I'm going to take you out now into something greater. I'm going to take you into the promised land. I'm going to take you into the goodness and mercy. I'm going to take you into a place of more and more. And Abraham, not only you shall experience it, but your children, not only your child, but your children's children. Wow. Abraham, he came up. Are you coming up? Or have you settled down over there? Like I told you the story. My daughter, we came up. My, the room, the hotel I was staying in, I went up. Are you ready to go up in your life? Or you are happy where you are? Ask God today, Lord, lay your hand upon me and bless me. Because your promises are for blessing. Your promises are for increase. Your promises are for goodness, not for reduction, but to go up. Every circumstance and situation in your life has to change because God is on your side. God is with you. God will do it. So allow him to lay his hands upon you that you can start moving in the direction of the promises of God. In the direction where there is more and more and that your generation can enjoy it. Not live in lack. If my son would come and ask me for an ice cream and if I can't provide him an ice cream, think of it. How will my son feel? How will I feel as a father? Your heavenly father wants to pour so much upon you that you will see an increase that you will enjoy when my son eats an ice cream, which he had asked me, I have a joy to see that smile upon his face. Your father in heaven wants to bring that increase upon you. You know why? So that he can rejoice because you are rejoicing. So let me pray for you as you believe God to turn situation around and to do great and mighty things and you entering the land of more and more, not only for yourself, but your generation to come. Let's pray. I don't know what situation you are in. Are you ready to break and come out? Believe God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters. As they watch, I pray every yoke shall be broken. Every stronghold to be destroyed under the blood of the Lamb. This day, I command the glory of God to come upon them. The blessing of the Lord to come upon them and let them see fruitfulness let them see the power of the lord let them see in the name of jesus the land of more and more not just more oh lord but more and more in their life i bless them right now and i pray they will walk in that land of more and more that they and their children will testify of your goodness. Lord, let there be testimonies coming out of their mouth. Let there be testimonies, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, those who are watching right now, let the situation be changed. Let every yoke and every curse be broken and let their things and their life change completely. A land of more and more for them and their generation to come. Bless them. I bless them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit and let them walk in a life of increase. In Jesus' Mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you and thank you for watching. Blessing today. Looking forward to seeing you again. God bless you abundantly.